YouTube. All right, so we got a package in the mail. And uh, actually, I want to actually state first and foremost, thank you guys for your support. It really means a lot. Without you, my channel will not be where it is now. Uh, we're so close to 2,000 subs. And as you guys can see here in the pile of, uh, I guess you could say, goodies, uh, it's starting to really build. And uh, I got this week, I got to go do some shopping and get some more stuff thrown in. But actually, this time, I did some shopping for myself. Let me uh, just push this over to the side here. And I actually ordered this online at, on uh, Amazon. And most of you guys seen that I just purchased a new video camera, which was this bad boy right here. The good old Samsung HD. It's a high definition with a 52 times zoom. Pretty nice camera, but you know what? It was time for me to upgrade and basically get me a tripod. And so let me show you guys what I got going on here. I believe I paid about 20 something dollars, which is not a bad price at, at all. Uh, you know, especially with what I'm using now, which I'll show you guys, uh, the tripod that I actually made myself is pretty good. So I figured, you know what, this is a newer camera, a better camera, and it's time for me to upgrade and go with something, you know, at least get something good and nice and reliable. So this is a Polaroid uh, 57 inch, 145cm tripod. And as I stated, I think we paid about maybe 20 bucks for it, if that. Uh, well, you know, I don't even need to use this. I like playing my head. Pretty cool. This is a knife I got off Bud K. I actually got a review on that. I'm actually having problems with Bud K right now. Uh, one of my packages is actually lost in the mail and it's been about a month or so. I actually ordered a flag uh, for the backing here, which is a Second Amendment flag. And I'm having issues with getting that in the mail, so I don't know what the deal is with that. But uh, let's jump into this. So, there's just, just empty stack of box. This is the coolest part I like about it. Nice uh, little bag they got going on. So it's easy to travel around and carry around with you. You don't have to lug, you know, a big old tripod. And I'll uh, just go ahead and bust her open and show you guys what she looks like. So this can be used for just about any type of video camera or any type of uh, camera period. Video camera, camera, it's got the tripod area. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the footage here and we'll get more into depth with the video camera connected to it. So bear with me and we'll come right back. All right, so here's a more in-depth look of the tripod. And as I stated, for $20, you can't go wrong. But let me first show you guys what I actually made myself for my little ghetto camera that I was actually using. I have to say this camera actually held up very well for all the abuse that I've had put it through. I mean, I've shot this thing. You guys probably seen in one of my videos. It's caught ricochets from when I was doing front end footage of me coming in towards the camera shooting. It's caught ricochets and busted out the screen here. Um, I've shot it with uh, airsoft rifle when I was doing a home invasion video, which is also on my channel. And uh, yeah, this thing actually took a beating. And let me explain this tripod. Very ghetto. Um, but you know what? It held up very well and it's done its job. Um, I don't want to go too in depth because this is what we're focusing on. But this is basically uh, some aluminum or what you would consider part of a uh, canopy that I once had at my other house. And that canopy had busted and fell apart due to like sun rot it does get very hot here in arizona um and i was left with these and so basically what i did was created myself a tripod i purchased um this funky little thing that connects into the video camera it's basically like a lower smaller uh tripod or what you would consider like a octopus arm tripod and i just basically wrapped it around that tripod as you see there uh, so yeah, that held up very well, but you know what since I've upgraded to a more expensive video camera I decided to get an actual really good um, Tripod and I wanted something that was going to stand a little bit higher so it didn't catch so much ricochet uh, If I do like front-end focus uh, videos of me running towards the camera shooting uh, So let's just get into depth here. So this does stretch out very well It does come with locks for the legs to lock into place um the hook, I really don't know what that is for. Uh, I may do some more extra history on that. Um, there is more locks here for more of a height to come up. Um, 
this right here basically is what will roll in the roll this down and so you can close it and compact it uh, I want to point something out here to you guys I don't think I locked it in place hopefully not uh, let me see if I can let me come this way so the Sun's not deflecting off of this um, if you guys are having a lot of wobble such as this as you can see here let me try to do this one-handed without dropping my video camera on the ground I don't know if I'll be able to get this out it's this one I'm actually this is straight out of the box so I'm actually getting used to it myself that's okay so that loosens that up so it can move around and oh here it is okay so there's a lever here that's what I was looking for now if you got a lot of that wobble you're gonna notice here which connects into the com uh, computer what the hell the video camera if you got a lot of play within this area there is a bolt usually under the tripods a lot of people end up sending their tripods back saying it did not fit their needs because it didn't work for their video camera I saw a lot of reviews on this and then I also did a lot of history on uh, people stating on their comments on Amazon why their tripod fit their camera so loose so basically what you do kind of sucks I'm one-handed right now uh, but you just tighten up that screw and you can see there's no more play here and then you just basically place that back in the its zone. Let me, excuse me, I apologize. I should have had this set up. Here we go with this crap. I hate recording horrible footage as what I'm doing to you guys now. <clears throat> so let me get this bad boy back in here. I guess I'll just show you guys how this works. You set it in here, pull this lever, and then you lock it back into place. So now there's no more play or nothing like that. Uh, it stands very high, which is great. A little bit higher than what I was using. Uh, also, you can raise this, lower it. Um, yeah, it's not all tightened up. So, see, once this is all tight, you won't have a bunch of play in it. Um, and as I stated, I can raise this higher by using this here, and I can raise it up more. So, another great thing about this, I mean, I probably would never use it, but if you're uh, more into consideration of your videos being level there's your answer right there there's a level on here so your footage doesn't look crooked when you're recording or whatnot you just basically set your level and you're good um, so it's a very nice very nice tripod for the money I paid honestly uh, you do have aluminum which is cool and you do have some grips I don't think these are gonna last very long uh, especially here in the desert it's gonna eventually wear and tear and just start ripping off when I'm out doing my uh, running gun videos and stuff like that so pretty nice tripod uh, let me show you guys the box once again and then we'll jump into the video camera and I'll just show you guys some steady shots with the so, uh, the video camera well it's actually taken in the backyard I got a beautiful view here in Arizona uh, so here it is it's your Polaroid 57 inch 145 cm tripod and there's your Product number, as far as I know, the PLTR157. I did purchase this on Amazon. I'm sure you can look it up on Amazon and uh, find it there for sale. So here's the information. I'm not going to read it off because I don't know how to read that Spanish part on the bottom there. Uh, but there's all the details here. I actually want to learn Spanish. It would be a really awesome language to learn. So... There's some of the details there, just basically, I, I would expect it to say on the bottom what it's for, but it doesn't. I'm going to research it. This might be the information here, um, and I'll just skim through it so you guys can see. Uh, if I'm going too fast, just pause, and you guys can read it yourself, or I'll also put some information in the link down below. So let's go ahead and jump right on into the camera, and I'm going to get you guys a steady view on the beautiful mountains in my backyard. All right, so I got her on so, the tripod, uh, and uh, I got to show you guys, actually, all the record another second half of this and show you guys how high this thing actually stands uh, just about to my chin length and uh, so here's uh, the zoom with the tripod I've actually done a review on this video camera if you're interested in checking it out go ahead um, the video is on my channel so let's just hit a zoom here while this is on a tripod of these beautiful mountains that we got here in uh, the good old state of Arizona and you can see we get a good height of uh, view and uh, I love the, I love my backyard. I mean, these mountains are just phenomenal. Honestly, they're really clear. Uh, I, sometimes we just get really nice days where you can see the mountains, and they just 
pop like it looks so beautiful so there's a beautiful view for you guys there I don't want to zoom in too much because then it just kind of bugs out but I mean I'll, let, let me just do it I'll do it anyways let me zoom you guys all the way in but you can see sitting on a tripod I mean it's just the focus is so much better and everything else and uh, I'll just bring it all the way in so we're still going still going still going so there she is right there that's I mean we're like literally right on top of the mountain right there with the zoom on this video camera I'm not really doing a video camera uh, video on or a video on my video camera but I just wanted to show you guys the steadiness with this tripod so there she is and I'll actually as I stated stop it from right here and just show you how high this actually zooms in and actually while I was uh, picking up this video cam video tripod well excuse me while I was picking up the tripod I actually discovered another find on here and I'll show you guys right now so alright so there's the beautiful mountains of Arizona it's my backyard beautiful view I love it out here and I might just come out here and record some uh, nice footage like this maybe like from you know sun break or when the sun's going down and try to get a nice uh, nice view of something like that so I don't even know what I'm trying to say <laughs> All right, so let's let me jump back in here and I'll show so you guys how high this tripod actually, actually stands. So stand. uh, bear with and, me. Uh, we were right looking back. at those mountains right over there, and as you can see, beautiful view. It stands high enough for me just to be able to get the tip of the top of the mountains and be able to get over that wall. And I mean, this thing stands really high. It really increases its reach of height. So pretty cool. And. Um, let me show you guys the other stuff that I found on here. You can see here there's another dial, uh, basically another level right in there. <clears throat> and you can see the extension of the, the rise on here. Uh, another thing is uh, this here turns. I just realized this. This here turns so you can go up and down. I mean, that's probably common in most tripods. But you guys seen what I was using before. And so I didn't really have... Uh, too much experience with an actual tripod like this. That's one reason I did this video review for those of you who just purchased a new video camera and may be looking for uh, a pretty nifty uh, tripod. So there's the view of the mountains once again. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it at this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, more videos coming your way. Let me know if you guys have any questions on this tripod. Uh, I'm actually really astounded by it. I really like it a lot, and it's going to come in really handy for my running gun videos, especially with me now having two video cameras, and I can actually uh, get more depth into my videos and more footage for you guys. We're actually going shooting again this week, so I'll record some footage and actually use this. So that's pretty much it from here. I'm up and out. God bless you guys. Please subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, let me know you subscribed, and I will sub you back. Please thumbs up, share, and uh, I'm up and out. Peace, my friends.